Good morning, church. Welcome to our de daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a short message, message, a short devotion from John chapter 5, verses 1 to 15. John chapter 5, verses 1 to 15 talks about, you know, the healing at the pool. You know, and this is a story about a man in the Bible who had been, uh, who had had a condition of physical restriction. All right. In fact, the Bible calls him an invalid or a paralyzed man. He has an encounter with Jesus and receive a, a healing that accelerates him forward into his destiny. That means he had an encounter with Jesus in his situation that bound him, that held him back, and the encounter with Jesus set him free and helped him to move forward to fulfill his destiny as a child of God. You know, we are praying that this word will give you uh, faith to move forward today. Whatever your condition, whatever your situation, whatever your circumstances, whatever your mountains or valley that you are facing right now, will give you faith. What I want to share with you today is this, will give you faith, will move forward. So my message today is faith to move forward. While this man has had this condition for 38 years, the Bible says he encountered Jesus who asked him a really interesting question. Jesus asked this invalid man, would you like to be healed or get well? Now, it's a very interesting question because Jesus saw him, Jesus knew his condition, but, Jesus, but yet Jesus still asked him, would you like to be healed or God get well? And this is a crazy question here. Jesus, who see this man in his condition, asked if he would like to be healed. We believe that question is an invitation from Jesus to him to say, do you want me to move into your life? Many things have moved into his life. His family left him. His physical condition moved into his life. Financial problem moved into his life. He couldn't move around, moved into his life. A lot of things have moved in his life. Hopelessness have moved into his life. But he never thought of Jesus and allowing Jesus to move into his life. You know, in every one of our lives, a lot of things have moved into our lives. Pandemic has moved into our life. Uh, the, lo the, 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 the loss of a job have moved into our life. Uh, the failure of health have moved into our life. Uh, worries and anxiety have moved into our lives. But the question I ask you right now, just as Jesus asked this man, would you like God to move into your life and your situation and your circumstances that you are facing today? Now, Invite him in. Whatever your condition is, whatever your challenges are, whatever difficulties that you are facing today, this is what the Bible says. Jesus gave this man three instructions, you know, which are our instructions today that I'm giving to you in order to help you to move forward in your life. The first instruction is this. Jesus said to get up and out of your condition. To get up and out of your condition. If that was Jesus' first instruction to get up, let's pick our thinking up today. You know, we need to get ourselves up and out of our emotion and our restriction and then make decision to move forward. You know, if you and I are drowned in the circumstances and the situation, our emotion are involved, our, 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 our life are involved in it, we can't seem to get out of it. Today, just as Jesus gave this instruction to the man, pick up, pick up yourself, pick up, get up yourself. That means he's saying to you and I, pick up your thinking today. Pick up your thinking today today and get yourself 
out of your circumstances in your mind first. Many times we have restriction in our mind uh, when we were in our circumstances and we can't see things rightly. We can't see God in the big picture. So therefore, pick yourself up from your restriction and your emotion and your difficulty and make a decision today to move forward. So second thing, Jesus said to Nemendis to pick up his mat. Pick up his mat. This means don't settle where you are today. Don't settle in your circumstances today. Don't settle in your financial situation today. Don't settle in your sicknesses and pain today. Don't settle where you are in your struggle, in your quicksand, in your whirlwind. Whatever the conditions are telling you, whatever your body is telling you, whatever the world is telling you, whatever your circumstances are telling you, you can pick yourself up and get out of a rough situation today. Maybe you have been in a condition for years. Maybe you are struggling for these four months and you're still struggling. You can make the decision today. Amen? You first have to pick up your thinking. Number two, you, do, you don't settle where you are. And number three, the last instruction, Jesus said to walk. He said to the man, now pick up the mat and walk to walk. This means that we need to take action. We need to put faith into our walk. Step forward. So say yes to God's invitation to come into your life. Make decision now. You know, I, I, the first decision I need to make is that I need to change my negativeness to positiveness. I need to change my attitude. These are action steps. I need to uh, believe God. I need to be cheerful. I need to learn to say, God, I may not understand, but I learn to take action step to walk with you and hold and claim the promises of your word. And I'm going to walk in it and believe in it. We need to get up. We need to pick up. And then we need to take action with our faith. Maybe today you can go and forgive someone. Maybe today you can take action to change. Maybe today you can start saying, I want to be more positive. I want to believe. I want to trust God. I want to rely on God. Maybe today you can say, you know what? I have been crying and, 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 and sucking by uh, emotional in my situation and my circumstances. I've been negative. But today, I better set my path straight. I need to rise up. I need to pick up. I need to rise up and I need to walk in God. Start doing what is right. What is that? Take action to change your situation. How? It's by changing your mind, the way you think, by changing your heart, the way you believe in God. Amen? So we want to leave this with you these words of encouragement with you and whatever your condition is today or what you're facing today. Today, come on. Church, come on. Get up, pick up, and walk into a new day, a new season of your life, a new beginning of something great God is about to bring into your life and cause to happen. Amen? Amen? That's what you do today. Pick up. Get up and walk into a new season of your life. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Father, we pray that you bless my brothers and my sisters. Cause us to have a blessed day and a prosperous day. May your protection be upon us. In Jesus' name, we pray. And everyone say, Amen. So God bless you all and you all have a great day. Amen? God bless you.